Hey everyone, we're happy to announce another long-awaited update for Remnote. This update contains a batch of changes centered around the queue. So let's dive in and see what's new. The queue itself has changed. You now have four options when answering a flashcard. They are easy, solid, hard, or unable to recall. This gives you more flexibility in gauging how well you know something. You can also view metadata for each card to see how your learning's going. While in the queue, type forward slash and you'll view the metadata for that card. You can also do this from inside a document. While in a document, simply type forward slash data and hit enter. This will show you some information like when the card was created, how long you spent learning it, and some other data as well. We've also added an option to toggle a visual indicator for each card. Go to settings, visual, and interval indicators. Now, when you practice from your queue, you'll also see time intervals for each spacing of the card. Queue on mobile also received an update. You can now swipe your finger to answer your REM flashcards. Swipe up for easy, right for solid, down for hard, and left for unable to recall. If you forget, just think of it in clockwise fashion. This is to accommodate a more ergonomic hand position while using RemNote on your phone. Next up, you can now customize your space repetition settings. If you click on your settings, there's a new tab at the top for custom schedulers. By default, your account will use the global default scheduler, and you can visually appreciate how the space repetition algorithm works for different scenarios depending on how you study your REM flashcards. For example, if I answer solid for a flashcard, it will be shown again in 24 hours. Then if I answer that flashcard again tomorrow as easy, it will be shown again in four days, and so on and so forth for each flashcard. You also have the option to switch to the Anki SM2 scheduler, which is more customizable. And making edits to any of the parameters can be visually seen in the example schedules above, so you can see how they change. I'll demonstrate that by changing the one in initial learning phase to three. And you can see the scheduler adjusting the time interval highlighted in yellow. For more information about each setting in the SM2 scheduler and how it works, feel free to read through this article, which was linked above. You can also create presets for your custom scheduler and apply them to specific documents for situations where you might have a folder you study from more often, or if you have a test coming up next week. To create a preset, click the scheduler dropdown and choose New Scheduler. And then you can enter a name for your preset. And now you can choose to apply the scheduler to any document by clicking this button here. Any and all documents using this scheduler will be shown on this page. You can also change the scheduler from inside a document as well. Choose the document you want to edit and click the three dots at the top right of the screen and select customize this document's space repetition schedule. And all of the scheduler customization can be deleted or reset to default at any time. Just some final updates before I close out this video. We would really appreciate it if you could all fill out a short survey for us to help improve Remnote. The link can be found on the update page, and I'll also leave it in the description below. And if you do it, you'll be entered in for a chance to win a small gift from yours truly. And finally, we just wanted to give a shout out to all our community members who are reporting bugs and issues. We really appreciate your help in making Remnote run more smoothly for everybody. So thank you very much and keep them coming. That's all for this video. Be on the lookout for more news coming soon and definitely join our Discord and give us a follow on Twitter.